Um, dear ladies and gentlemen, it's a, a pleasure to be here today with you. And um, I would also like to thank, uh, before I commence with my, my speech, uh, Norden, also Finnish uh, Institute, and, uh, and of course, Annika, uh, uh, for, for your excellent job of uh, bringing us uh, here together today. Thank you for that. Uh, the question, Yami sees, or so what, is, uh, I think, uh, very relevant. And uh, it has been raised as such uh, very successfully. And I think uh, this should be asked uh, every time uh, we want to reach to the bottom of the uh, topic. And today I want to talk about uh, three issues with you, which I consider important. First of all, uh, gender segregation in the labor market. Today, in 2018, there are jobs and activities uh, uh, that a large part of the society still uh, call uh, the jobs for women and, and for men. Um, uh, however, the fact that uh, certain branches of activity are clearly represented by uh, one sex uh, versus another is, uh, I think, a problem in the 21st uh, century. And uh, we can ask, uh, so what, or Yami sees. But uh, firstly, um, this um, uh, is a problem because uh, diversity encourages uh, innovation. And uh, several studies have shown that um, um, this is the case, but it should be clear also without them. Innovative ideas are uh, not likely uh, to be born in a group where everyone, everyone thinks uh, alike and has similar backgrounds or other social characteristics, uh, be it gender, nationality, age or other indicators. And without uh, innovation, uh, there is no development. And um, we and my country also cannot afford that. Uh, secondly, segregation in the labor market is also one of the main sources of um, um, pay gaps in, uh, in the labor market. And uh, often uh, women are concentrated in uh, sectors where the average wage level is lower. And uh, I've said that uh, before, and I say this uh, also today, that uh, uh, I would like to encourage uh, women to uh, take the role as ent entrepreneurs and, and also um, uh, apply for the jobs in, um, in the sector such as um, ICT. Second issues uh, are related with uh, work and um, family life, how to combine these. Labor market of the 21st century can um, not function successfully on the basis of the model of uh, uh, last century. People have the right and must have the opportunity to realize their dreams, both in their personal and professional lives. It is important to create opportunities for a woman to fulfill her ambition and ideas. The same uh, goes to men, of course, as well. Often the choice between work and family life is a problem. In response to the question, and so what, I can say that uh, there is a loss for us if the choice is made only for work or only for the benefit of the family. The win is if you can choose both. And thirdly, I wanted to talk about the attitudes. Attitudes are the basis, uh, uh, often, which, uh, without knowing ourselves, uh, many decisions are made. On the basis of attitudes, preferences, and at the same time, time uh, also the uh, preferences and uh, Connected to that, uh, later, the choices uh, in the lives are often made. 
And um, we can again uh, ask uh, perhaps, uh, so what? But uh, let's uh, think about how much uh, potential uh, is wasted. Estonia is not so big that we can allow the waste of uh, resources. The ICT sector is just one example where there is a big uh, shortage of, uh, of people. And uh, if a um, large part of the society is excluded from these uh, choices, it, it is a, a problem. And um, I think uh, the key here is also in the education. And uh, we should uh, start from the very early age, from, uh, from the kindergartens already. I also urge my two daughters uh, to uh, be active in the fields like uh, robotics. Um, and uh, I al also often encourage them to uh, really uh, think big and, and really um, try to seek opportunity. And, and I think this is one of the, the gifts that I can uh, give to them uh, for the, their in entire lives. Nelson Mandela has said that education is the most uh, powerful weapon to change the world. I hope that uh, education uh, will uh, move forwards towards more equal and diverse uh, society in the future, leading to happier people and more prosperous economy. Thank you for that.